out-of-body experiences and remote viewing. Definition During out-of-body experiences, consciousness transfers to one's higher spirit, immortal soul. The body with its mortal soul is separated from the immortal soul, but a link between the immortal and mortal soul remains. The body ticks over under its autonomic systems. It works, but it is like a ship without a captain. The captain is no longer in the ship. It may travel along the earth level or go up or down levels. For everything we perceive physically with our five senses, a software or spiritual set of functions exists. The immortal soul perceives directly. As such, the perceptions received while out of body may not totally match the perceptions one might make using the five senses. Dr. Susan Blackmore, Beyond the Body From the ceiling, I could apparently see the room quite clearly. I saw the desk, chairs, window, my friends, and myself, all from above. Then I saw a string or cord, silvery, faintly glowing, and moving gently, running between the neck of my body below and the navel, or thereabouts, of a duplicate body above. I thought it would be fun to try to move it. I reached out a hand and immediately learned my first lesson. I needed no hand to move the cord. Thinking it moved was sufficient. Also, I could have two hands, any number of hands, or no hands at all as I chose. Much later, I learned that I needed neither cord nor duplicate body, and when I realized this, they evaporated. Near-death experiences out-of-body experiences and the dangers of having an OBE. Out-of-body experiences are often a part of the early stages of a near-death experience. As such, many scientists have started to view out-of-body and near-death experiences as a sort of continuum. Out-of-body experiences can thus theoretically lead to death and may be an indicator of illness or a dangerous situation. At the time, many of the most famous out-of-body explorers were experimenting with their abilities. They were unaware of any illness they had. But to investigate more thoroughly, and it seems that many of the most accomplished out-of-body travellers were indeed ill but did not know it. Sylvan Muldoon, for example, had numerous out-of-body experiences. And on visiting his doctor, he found he suffered from bradycardia. Sylvan Muldoon Before taking the cardiac stimulant, which I procured from my doctor, I had experienced a projection in some form almost every week, and the primary stages of projection every night. No sooner had I begun to take the heart stimulant than all trace of the phenomenon disappeared, even the primary stages. I stopped taking the pellets. In a few days, I observed that the rate of my pulse was dropping, and it was not long before I was again experiencing the things I had formerly experienced. And indeed hypoxia, a lack of oxygen to the body and brain, 
seems to be quite common in many an OBE, even to the extent it can be experienced in the OBE. Practical Astral Projection Iram I was watching a lovely panorama unfold beneath me, when suddenly, without apparent motive, the current on which I was being carried suddenly changed its direction, and I had the feeling of falling at a dizzy speed. I noticed many different images. The last was a sort of tube in which I was shut up. The further I went, the narrow became the tube, with sensations corresponding. I had the feeling of being crushed in and was literally suffocating. Keeping cool, I mentally called my guides. Soon a whirlwind rushed me clean out of this disagreeable situation and with a sigh of relief, I found myself in free space. This might have led to a near-death experience as he was in a tunnel and indeed might have even led to death. Many drugs repress respiration and breathing. As such, out-of-body experiences are a feature of the drugs that do. This paper says, Cannabis consumption has been shown to cause arrhythmia, including ventricular tachycardia and potentially sudden death. Dr. Susan Blackmore is now vehemently opposed to all counts of psychic phenomena, despite the fact that her smoking hash gave her one. Dr. Susan Blackmore Beyond the Body By 10.30 I was feeling more like going to bed than on to a friend's room for a smoke. But I had previously promised to go and was looking forward to the hash and a pleasant end to the evening. I decided I would just go for half an hour, and so, with Kevin, I went up to Vicky's room. As far as I can recall, there was nothing unusual, except that I was terribly tired. Vicky put some music on and made some coffee, and I sat cross-legged on the floor. I rather dropped out of the conversation, feeling sleepy and wondering whether I could make the effort to go back to my room to bed. I had a little of the proffered hash. I was aware of Vicky asking me if I would like coffee. Kevin answered, but I did not, and I noticed this fact as though it did not concern me. Vicky passed quite close to me and went into the kitchen. It is to Kevin's credit that he both initiated and helped me with the next stage. Quite out of the blue, and I have no idea why, he asked, Sue, where are you? This simple question baffled me. I thought, struggled to reply. The words came out, I'm on the ceiling. With some surprise, I watched the mouth, my mouth, down below, opening and closing, and I marvelled at its control. Kevin seemed quite calm at this pronouncement and proceeded to question me in more detail. What was it like up there? What could I see? What was I? Trying to answer his questions took all my energy and concentration. There was no time for being frightened or even for contemplating what an odd state this was. I suspect that it was for this reason and my extreme tiredness that I did not get immediately alarmed and return. Remote Viewing The recognition that out-of-body experiences may be life-threatening resulted in the US military, during its Stargate project, turning to remote viewing instead. 
and remote viewing is safer because the immortal soul has no need to leave the body. But remote viewing relies on there being either someone at the remote location with whom the person has formed a bridge. In this case, the viewer sees the remote location through telepathic communication with this person. Or something at the remote location with which the person has formed a bridge. For example, a photo or article of clothing would be a bridge. In this case, the viewer sees the remote location through telepathic communication with the bridge, the object. Remote viewing can give the impression of being out of body, travel, and unless one knows the full case history, it is often impossible to know which has occurred. But remote viewing relies on a bridge having been established between something or someone at the location. Whereas an out-of-body experience can occur without any bridge having been established. Thus, although our website, allaboutheaven.org, separates out-of-body experiences and remote viewing observations, they might be better treated as one set of observations. It is evident, for example, that in some startlingly accurate remote viewing exercises of targets the viewer had no bridge to, the viewer was actually reading the mind of the person sitting opposite him, who had seen a photograph of the target site. In other words, it was simple telepathy. Communication of thoughts directly from one person's mind to another person's mind without using words or signals. Impressive enough, but not remote viewing. But, despite the obvious limitations of remote viewing, it avoids the risk of dying, the risk of one's body being possessed whilst you are gone, and the risk of not being able to get back into one's body on return. But if in the future we wish to explore deep space using psychic methods, remote viewing will not work, as no bridge is possible to distant stars or galaxies. As such, out-of-body experiences and a great deal of courage will be needed. Finding the observations on allaboutheaven.org The out-of-body description and its observations can be found using observations and the type being out-of-body. Remote viewing is found under the definition Spiritual Concepts section. Look at the index of concepts under R and press Remote Viewing. The page provides a description plus a large number of observations. Playlist The playlist has videos of both remote viewing and out-of-body experiences. Thank you.